How's it going, trainers? GoFest 2023 is here for some in-person events, and the global event isn't too far off either. So, I think it's about time we discussed how good the featured mythical, Diancy, actually is. Is it worth the ticket alone, or is it just dex filler? Well, let's find out. Welcome back, everyone. So, Diancy will be available through various GoFest events through a ticket, whether you're attending an in-person GoFest event or playing the global event at the end of the season. Ticket holders will get early access to the mythical jewel Pokemon, Diancy, but let's dive right in to see how good this jewel Pokemon is. So last month, we discussed Carbink, and Diancy is very similar to Carbink, sharing the same typing, moves, and both the same stamina and defense. Besides Diancy being a mythical and Carbink not, the only real difference between the two is that Diancy has a higher 190 attack stat. That, and it also has the ability to Mega Evolve, which we'll talk about soon enough. But sadly, unlike Carbink, Diancy on its own really isn't that great of a Pokemon. Its extra attack actually serves as a detriment to it in PvP, where it becomes a lot less bulky in the Great League compared to Carbink. It's still got decent defenses for the Great and Ultra Leagues, but nothing outstanding and pair that with its less than stellar fast moves, and Diancy really isn't a standout in the GVL. The moves work for Carbink because of its massive bulk, but on something like Diancy, it just makes it look mediocre. Not even in the Master League is it good enough to stand out. And even in raids, it doesn't make much of an impact. While its attack is higher, it's still not enough to compete with the stronger rock types with even more attack. When even Golem and Pseudo Wudo beat Diancy as a rock attacker, I think it's worth passing on. So all in all, Diancy itself looks pretty underwhelming. However, Diancy's Mega Evolution will be far more interesting. With its measly 190 attack flying up to an incredible 342, you'll be able to get Mega Diancy energy from field research if you're attending one of the in-person GO events. And for the Global GO Fest, you'll receive energy from defeating Tier 2 Carbon Grades. As for how good Mega Diancy is, well, with its incredibly high attack stat, it basically becomes the best rock attacker, having a higher speed of damage than the recently released Mega Tyranitar. It's pretty impressive, though Mega Tyranitar does still have two advantages over Mega Diancie, with its bulk making it a better damage booster for ally Pokemon, and Larvitar XL candy being far easier to come by than Diancie XL. Still, Mega Diancie will become the best rock attacker overall, and that's notable if nothing else. But how do you feel about the mythical Pokemon and its Mega Evolution? Are you excited? Let me know down in the comments below. Now whether Diancy is worth the ticket or not, that's a different question. Honestly, if you just want to buy a ticket for Diancy itself, I don't think it's too worth it. Especially when we'll likely get another chance to get it for free later this year or sometime next year. That is typically what happens with GoFest mythicals. But if you were already planning on buying the ticket, Diancy would make for a nice little extra bonus. And if you're still wondering if the Global GoFest is worth it, James did a video on just that not too long ago, so be sure to check that out. But if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss our upcoming content. Until next time though, thanks so much for watching, and take care.